adult would say to dismiss the mm. point of view, but that just might be me and my experience talking. Um, yeah, I don't like I. I think that this poem seems to be about like coming together um, over issues like that maybe have different points of view, but I'm wondering if the message is kind of shallow because like I definitely got that from it, but I didn't, I couldn't really tell what the author's like views were, or, like what they were exactly like, what the message was past just like togetherness. Mm -hmm. One line that I want to talk about is just the transfer from 11 to 12. Mm -hmm. A line of fire communicates, but drop your weapons and drop your line. Mm -hmm. This whole time that I was reading, I understood the line to be the line between this, the author, Martha Collins, and a loved one. Mm -hmm. Because she says that lines are complicated and curve and mm -hmm. twist, and there isn't any linear progression, but she also has the awareness that the shortest distance is from X to Y. There isn't a whole bunch of twists and turns, but when she refers to lines as weapons, that's when I sat back for a second and I thought to myself, how, like, what does that say about the author's relationship between love and using love as a weapon of manipulation? Mm -hmm. I, this poem really fascinated me particularly because it like is starts with giving orders and I think that's really interesting because I similarly thought that it was about a relationship with a loved one based on um, like lines 11 through 14 mm -hmm. but um, one of the things that stuck with me most was how she, it, it seems like there's a juxtaposition between the beginning of the poem where, where she's saying that you cannot um, like cross lines, you cannot con contradict your line of thinking and your experience with somebody else and then it seems to morph into like kind of this understanding that like a line is just made up of points and you can like when I think of x and y I think of like um like a point on a graph you can just like exist as you are and create a line for each other and I thought that was interesting but I was curious what you guys thought about um why she might have started the poem with giving orders and whether or not that gives like more meaning to the poem for you. Um, I just like noted her use of periods. At the beginning there's three and then throughout the rest of the poem there's only three more. And I just thought that was an interesting thing, especially in regards to what you said. So I do think there was a point to having um, full sentences, full short sentences at the beginning. And part of that just drew me in because I felt that she was commanding me to interpret something. Um, and then, and it seems like the format kind of declined into a like, well, I don't know if it declined so much as my reading sped up as I, as I read down the lines because I wanted to understand like, each point where she seemed confused about her own intentions of writing the poem. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that the first line in comparison with eight, but a line of thought is rarely straight, um, is just the idea that love has a format in the beginning and then it becomes twisted and curvy and there isn't really an, any one way to do the whole love romance thing. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely agree. I noticed that like she's there is like she's 
conflicted almost in writing it. Like, yeah. oh, this is how it's supposed to be. This is how it actually is. And then at the end, when like lines 13 and 14, the shortest distance from X to Y, the definition of a straight line is the shortest distance between two points. So if yeah. that is how communication works, then it sh everything should be easy, but from the rest of the poem, we yeah. can tell that's not necessarily yeah. what's going on in this situation. Mm -hmm. yeah.